Uh, for today's vocabulary, number one is have to do with, uh, which is to be associated with something. Uh, this has to do with that. Uh, number two, overlap. Overlap is whenever you have um, maybe two different parties or, or more that have the same uh, interest or uh, the same role or responsibility. The, the, the biggest waste in government is to have overlap when there's like more than one organization that has the same uh, job. Have you guys ever heard of MECE? M-E-C-E? It's a, it's a term that was introduced by, um, uh, who was it? By maybe Della White? It, by a consulting firm and, and basically means uh, mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive. MECE refers to mutually exclusive meaning uh, that the details or strategy in your business plan are specific for that. Collectively, ex oh, and, and collectively exhaustive meaning that you have all the options necessary without overlap. So um, that's a really uh, difficult thing to analyze with businesses is if there's any kind of overlap and if there's any waste or inefficiency. Number three, intonation, uh, is basically the kind of stress in your speaking style, right? Uh, where your tone rises and falls. Uh, and it can dictate your speaking style or even your uh, how you project yourself. Number four, Q, is a signal to start something. A lot of times we say something like, uh, if, you're, if you're going to give a speech and somebody calls your name, they introduce you, that's when you say, that's my Q. That's, that's kind of like saying, that's my signal to go on. Number five, opposite, opposite. Number six, slow down, slow down. Number seven, rate. These are all very easy. 